informed, I mean, informed me that they are coming back for the Holy Ghost Festival. So I don't know what about you and what you are doing, why you would think that you don't want to be part of this one. I don't think that's your mind. But then, as a believer, what is worth celebrating? What else is worth celebrating if not the power of God, if not God himself, if not the presence of God, if not the spirit of God? So here we celebrate the spirit of God. As we are celebrating the spirit of God, a lot, thing, a lot of things happen, miracles happen. People who are in there, who are desiring to receive the Holy Spirit, the presence of God to be with them. During programs like this, they are impacted. People burst out in the language of the spirit and they begin to tongue it. And as you are tonguing, you are rearranging things because this is a language that even the devil does not understand. This is direct communication with God. And this is another powerful way to pray. When you tongue, you are speaking the language of the spirit. And the scripture tells us clearly in the, in the book of John 4.23, but our cometh when the true worshipers will worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. For the Father seeks such to worship him. God is a spirit. And he that must worship him must do so in the spirit. God is a spirit. Yeah, he is a spirit. So you have to worship him in spirit. So praying in the language of the spirit is direct communication with God. No intermediaries. The devil doesn't understand to know what you are telling God. <laughs> Amazing. It is when they know what you are telling God. That's when they may even scheme up or make some plans to pull some obstacles on your way, which they cannot even do no more. Because once you become aware of who you are in the Lord, everything of yours you are speaking, you are praying, everything of yours carries fire. They cannot come close to you. You have so much power over them. And this is one thing the devil is not happy about. You becoming aware of the power you possess. The devil is not happy about this. So they are constantly putting blockades in your way, preventing you from attending programs that will open your eyes, listening to messages that will open your eyes. That is why when you are even praying and your prayer is getting closer and closer to the upper rooms, the devil finds a way to distract you. They cause you to open your eyes. And once you open your eyes, you begin to see things that will take, you know, put some ideas on your mind, distracting you from the prayer. They cause your phone to ring. They cause people to call you during that time when you are praying. That is why so you as a believer must also be smart when you are praying. If you have to pray, you must know when to make use of your phone. You know that during prayer, the phone must be far away from you, muted, if possible, turn off so you don't get distracted. So you come for the Holy Ghost Festival. Learn more about God for your life to be made whole, for your life to be made beautiful. And I'm encouraging you that never come to such programs alone. Coming to such programs alone would not help you, okay? Because you and I, as believers, as Christians, have a mandate. We are supposed to go out there, teach people about God, win souls for God. And if you read carefully the, 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 the scriptures in the book of Luke, when one sinner repents and receives Christ, the heavens rejoice. The heaven rejoice than 99 righteous people who do not need repentance. Yeah, these are people who are already righteous. They do not need repentance, okay? But when one man, one evil heart, one wicked person receive that word and decide that, oh, enough is enough. I'm letting go all my wicked ways. I'm clinging on to God. I'm serving him as my Lord and master. Heaven rejoice. So when you and I must make heaven rejoice time and again, it also means that everything we seek from heavens is already ours because as heaven is rejoicing over our work, our work, work of winning souls for Christ, you cannot be in need. You cannot be in need. Just look at it this way. When your father, your earthly father, is happy about something that you have done, something that you are doing, no matter what you ask him, he will give it to you. That is it. He will give it to you. If you know about the story of that lady in the scriptures, Herodias' daughter, who had to dance for King Herod, she danced to please the king. She danced to please the king. The king was so pleased that he promised her to half of his kingdom, that he was going to give her 
anything she asked for to what? Half of his kingdom. Is it not amazing? A king talking about almost half of his kingdom, giving to somebody for simply dancing. That is what happens when you please your king. That is what happens when you please people. You attract favor, favor from them. So when you please God, you are attracting favor from God. That is it. So we must win souls. So let's come to Holy Ghost Festival with the souls we have won, with friends we have invited. Some would say that I don't know how to win souls. How, what message am I going to preach? Oh, really? You don't have to depend on yourself. You depend on the Holy Ghost. You depend on the Spirit of God. What you are about to do, going out there to talk to somebody about God is a good thing already. So you simply pray to God, God, I am going. I need you to take control of my tongue. Speak through me. Grant me wisdom. Give me the words to speak. Make that attempt. I'm a practical example. I can tell you the very first time I step out to talk to somebody about God, I don't know. The words were coming. The words were coming. And it was amazing. And the Spirit of God was so beautiful that moment because the one I was talking to was eager to listen. This was somebody who was so busy working. But I got in there and I said, can I talk to you about God? And the person left everything. And I was talking and the person never was in haste to stop whatsoever they were doing. They were just listening. That is what God can do. It is in your effort. It is in your work to do. It is God's work to do. Pastor Calvin will say that what? The only person who has anointing to win soul is the Holy Spirit. So rely on the Spirit of God. Just pray to God, I need you to guide me. Take over my tongue. Lead me to the right places. Teach through me. Communicate through me. Remember, you are not the message. You are just a carrier of the message. So you are going in there, you rely on the Spirit of God, and the message will flow through you. And that soul will follow you to church. That is it. That is it. So this is where we end in the show this morning. Come to Holy Ghost Festival, but do not come alone. Come with somebody. Win souls for Christ. Come here with them. You meet people who may need sponsoring. Yeah, this is what it must also get to. You may meet people who, who, who may need some kind of sponsoring. They will tell you, I don't have money. I wish to be at this program, but I don't have money. I don't have what it takes to get here. And you know that you can help that person. Put your hands in your pocket. Support them to come. That is another way to attract the favor of God. Whilst you are blessing these people, God is also blessing you. Whilst you are sponsoring somebody to come for the Holy Ghost Festival, God is also blessing you. But do it because you want to serve. Do it because you love God. Do it because you love that brother with the love of God in you. And you want to see that brother or that sister saved from the world. Do it. And allow God to do his own work with you. Blessed are you, everyone, who is part of this program this morning. And may the good Lord continue to cause you to shine. Shine forth every aspect of your life. Even at your workplace, in your businesses. May you continue to shine in your relationship, every broken relationship. We pray that there is solution. God is just taking control by that relationship and he's turning it around for your good. Even as you continue to cling onto him and continue to work for him, may it be so for you. May money never be a problem in your life. And I pray that you who is receiving communication from the devil that is putting fear and panic in you, that communication is seized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you only receive communication from the Holy Spirit that comes to empower you, that comes to make you bold, that comes with that kind of royal confidence, that you walk out in confidence, that you walk out and you achieve, maybe so unto you in this moment. And now do enjoy the rest of the morning. My name is Kevin Lambert-Hertzen, and this is where we end in Zoe Morning Show today.